What's up everybody, MK99 here and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be an update video on how to mod Borderlands Game of the Year edition. Now, I'm going to be, this is going to be a video using Willow Tree, answering you guys' questions, just going through all the tabs on Willow Tree and what you guys can do and how to mod, because I have a lot of questions on everything. So, we're going to start off, if you guys want to skip the video, you could if you're only interested in how to use Willow Tree. I will explain everything, just so you can skip the video, but this is for the PlayStation, Xbox, and people who are generally confused on PC as well. So, we're going to start this off by saying... In my Discord, we have someone named Marvelous who has been working very hard trying to get modded weapons on Borderlands Game of the Year Edition from PS4 without using the import system. But at the moment, he's kind of uh, struggling. But at the moment, he does have Borderlands 2 modded weapons. So if you do want them, he's finding his ways out now. You could join the Discord down below in the description. Be my, be my guest to add him and ask him questions. If you need any help, I'm there as well. It's a perfect, uh, nice little community I'm trying to build there. So there's that. Xbox players, we're still uh, working on you. I still have not got my Xbox set up yet, so I don't know if I have my modded weapons still. So I'll keep you updated on that. But, um, yeah, so that's basically it. Also, I have another question is that people don't know where their saves are. Now, before I say anything and show you where they are, I just want to say... If you do not have your saves under your game, your documents folder, it is either that you put them in somewhere else, or your get your game integrity isn't um isn't verified. You have to just verify it. Maybe it will pop up then, or maybe your saves are corrupted, or even that you have a torrented game and the game can't save your f files there. So there must be a little issue there. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick on PC how to get your files. So you go to File Explorer, go to Documents, go to My Games. Go to Borderlands Game of the Year, go to Binaries, Save Data, and then there's all your saves. Now, Willow Tree did have an update, so according to the last video, we had to use an old Borderlands 1 account and then transfer it over. That is not the case anymore. Just open Willow Tree, you go to File, Open, and you could take your Borderlands Game of the Year under Binary Save Data and use your class there, and now everything pops up. So I'm going to go through uh, most of the tabs here and then show you guys how to mod real quick and what's the difference between Gibbet, Save Editor, and Willow Tree, how the modding is, how the modding changed. So to start this off, I'm going to show you on the home page. Everything's pretty self-explanatory. Skill points, cash, save slot number, which is the slot right here what number it is so mine's two so that's why I save slot two where you spawn in everything you need to know you can change your character name weapons and weapons I'll come back to items I'm not going to touch on because I don't know how to use them that well skills is just your item profit your weapon proficiencies you can max them out and then whatever skill points if you don't want to spawn yourself skill points in, you could just change it to five if you have it or whatever you mean so yeah that's simple as that that's pretty simple oh yeah so quest is like your quest so like i'm going to scroll to the bottom just for an example so if you go to the bottom you can see i have it's like christmas started say you finished it it will say finish you could just change it to started and it will restart the quest instead of going through and like doing that save glitch where you leave leave a certain time you could just finish it normally and then hit go here change it to started or not not picked up yet and that's simple as that and you have it reset it's pretty awesome so ammo pools is pretty self-explanatory. I'm pretty sure you could change your SDU to whatever you want to have a limited ammo. I keep it kind of fair, so I keep it normally. So I could just go and buy ammo whenever because I don't care about money. And it's, it's just fun to pick up ammo and everything. Echo logs I don't mess with. Banks is the same thing as weapons. And locker and about is just two other uh, tabs. So under weapons, now the difference between Borderlands 1 modding and Borderlands 2 is that you can't put a barrel or or bot or parts any way you want. So for example, I'm going to just show you what Borderlands 2 looks like. So if we you take my weapon I made here, the Captain Blade Shredder Fire. If you look, you have the body grip and all your parts. You could put other barrels or other parts on your weapon and it won't matter. It will either make it better, it will make it slower, faster. It will all. It doesn't matter. That's how Borderlands changed with modding. Is that you could add whatever, we whatever weapon part you want, wherever you want, from accessory to up to body. You could. You don't even need a body. You can have an invisible weapon that does insane damage. But the fact of the matter that Borderlands 1 did not allow that. Borderlands 1 is completely different. This is Borderlands 2. So if I'm gonna leave this alone. Just wanted to show you guys the difference. Borderlands 1 now. Is so if we look at the Pearl Ogre for example, no, I'll give you the uh, bitch bitch. So the way that you mod in Borderlands One Willow Tree is 
the item grade is the item this is the the weapon you want so say you want an smg you have to do this part right here and then you go make use patrol smg and then make this from parts one to about 10 1 to 10 you need to keep whatever it is you need to put it to its exact thing i, th I think you could change the manufacturer to whatever you want but otherwise you need to have these perfectly you cannot mess with those because I, you could but it won't affect your damage it will probably make it worse but considering the fact that you could as you see on the right you could either make your magazine higher or load speed you could have better grip you know what i mean like it's they all add something to the the weapon the more higher up the tiers are i think five is the highest quality tier you know what i mean so the weapon modding aspect comes from the titles that's all it is the titles it, it's very weird i think the accessory as well has something to do with it but that's just if you want an element or like or if you want higher melee damage or you want a knife on it like that you know what i mean so it mainly comes down to what the title is now you see i have bitch bitch so if you use this page i will leave down in the description we're going to go under patrol smgs and we're going to just type in bitch so the fact i have the type so the barrel bitch does this so that means this is why it's in a set so this is this set so if you want to put a barrel on an smg you could use any of these or also the the unique ones from the other dlcs but what i'm talking about is the hyperion title so if you want the title you get the bitch as the in the name along with the red text smack them and it does a certain aspect to the weapon so you could have the bitch and then you could put the anarchy so the anarchy bitch and the anarchy would add 200 minus 200 percent accuracy but it'll add 30 percent magazine size and add two projectiles per shot making it an anarchy weapon so that is based this is basically the modding aspect of the game it's not as uh in depth as it is in borderlands 2 uh unless you hex edit some weapons in and i'm not really i don't really go near the hex editing aspect but yeah i know this video is a little long i'm just trying to help you guys out whatever which way i could but as you see if you guys have any questions i'm gonna wrap it up here but before i leave you could see that you can go to each one of the tabs if you want. Hold on. Well, I don't know why it's, I'm loading. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> so you can go to whatever tab you want. And you could change, get whatever parts you want, add to whatever. As long as the prefix. The prefix is what mod. So you could have a miracle, miracle, or rolling, rolling, or a lightning. Uh, you know what I mean? Like it, it all. And usually the barrels. I never really mess with alien weapons because they're kind of weird in my opinion. You only can make them like like a cannon really strong so i don't really mess with them but that's up to you showed you guys how to do if you have any questions please put them in the comment section i respond to around 90 to 100 percent of all comments if you guys noticed on my last video i kind of say connected with my community so i hope you guys all enjoyed please join the dis uh the discord down below for to be a little uh one-on-one -on -one action with me so i could be able to talk to you better because i risk i'm on my discord 24 7 if you at me and i'm not at school or work i will respond to you a thousand percent instantly so or at me in the chat and i'll do that instantly as well so as i said thank you guys very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed drop a like on this video and subscribe because we are almost at 400 subs unless we're at it right now i'm not sure at the time i'm making this video i think we're at 380 so i want to thank you all because you guys have shown me tremendous support over the past two past week almost two weeks now that i put up that video and you guys have just killed it so thank you guys very much let's kill this video as well i'm gonna uh i'm gonna let you guys off here so as i said before comment anything you have down below like this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out